hello. In this video, we are going to show how to display some more graphs involving the quantum harmonic oscillator. In particular, in this video, we are going to demonstrate that the eigenfunctions for the quantum harmonic oscillator problem are orthogonal to each other if they have a different quantum number n. The instructions in this video assume that you have already completed the worksheet that was demonstrated in part one. So then we continue in cell AD3 with the label X in cell AD4 equals G4. And then we copy cell AD4 from AD5 to AD180. In cell AE3, we have the label psi 0 star psi 1. Cell AE4 is going to be the formula H4 times M4. And then we copy the cell AE4 from AE5 all the way up to AE180. Then in cell AG3, we have the label X. In cell AG4, we have the formula equals G4. Then we copy the cell AG4 from AG5 to AG180. In cell AH3, we have the label psi1 star psi2. So this is the, um, the integral of psi1 star psi2. Cell AH4 is equal to M4 times S4. And then we copy the cell AH4 from AH5 to AH180. For our third example of the orthogonality of the eigenfunctions, in cell AJ3, we have the label X. In cell AJ4, we have the formula equals G4. Then we copy cell AJ4 from AJ5 to AJ180. In cell AK3, we have the label psi1 star psi3. So this is the orthogonality of the eigenfunctions for n equals 1 and n equals 3. In cell AK4, we have the formula equals M4 times Z4. And then we copy cell AK4 from AK5 to AK180. And then for our fourth and final example of orthogonality, in cell AM3, we have the label X. In cell AM4, again, we have the formula equals G4. And we copy cell AM4 from AM5 to AM180. In cell AN3, we have the label Psi2 star Psi3. So this is the orthogonality of the n equals 2 and n equals 3 eigenfunctions. In cell AN4, we have the formula equals S4 times Z4. And then we copy the cell AN4 from AN5 to AN180. Here we plot eigenfunction psi sub 0 times psi sub
Again, we have psi is zero, star psi one, but now we've shaded the region above the x-axis as dark gray, below it as light gray, and we can see immediately by symmetry they are equal and opposite, giving an overall value of zero for the area, demonstrating the orthogonality of those two eigenfunctions. Our second example is psi 1 star psi 2. Here we shade the graph of psi 1 star psi 2, showing two of the regions on the right in dark gray, two of the regions to the left in light gray. And we see immediately by symmetry that these are equal and opposite, so therefore the integral is equal to zero. We recognize this is a feature of a so-called odd function over an even integral. Our third example is the graph of psi 1 star psi 3. Again, here we're stating regions of the graph, some in dark gray, some in light gray. And originally, I didn't want to include this particular graph because it's not immediately obvious uh, by symmetry that these regions cancel out to give a zero overall integral. And then I realized, well, that's exactly why I should include it, just to show that while well, often we have this orthogonality graph, just by symmetry, and we can visually uh, immediately determine that the integral is zero. There are cases where it's not so obvious, and we might have to just uh, prove it algebraically. And here is our final example of orthogonality. We have psi sub 2 star psi sub 3. And finally, the color in the looped region here, the greater than uh, zero ones are in a dark gray. The ones that are less than zero are a light gray. And fortunately, again, in this case, we can see by symmetry that the uh, positive regions and the negative regions cancel each other out to give an overall integral of zero, thereby demonstrating that eigenfunctions with different eigenvalues are orthogonal. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, have a good one.